In this video, I'm going to show you what I'm thinking and why I'm thinking it in a full game of Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is about how to help you become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so let's get better together and dive into today's video. Now I am breaking down my offense and defense. If you want to know what playbooks I'm running, on offense I'm running the Las Vegas Raiders playbook, which is a new scheme that I'm working on out of the bunch tight end in particular. And on defense, I'm running my patented nickel 335 wide. I think nickel 335 wide is the best defense in the entire game. And if you want to pick up my full nickel 335 ebook for just 15 bucks, every single pro in Madden is running this defense. Make sure to pick it up in the description of this video. Uh, it'll be available to you. And it shows you exactly what you need to know for how to run this incredible, incredible defensive ebook and defensive scheme. So if you have any questions about it you can always text me also if you want to get my full Madden schemes my phone number is in the description of this video it's also in the top left hand screen of the video as you're watching right now that's my personal cell phone number so be sure to text me if you have any Madden questions all right guys so starting out here this guy is interestingly running some power eye on me I might have to actually check down into um, maybe a different defense here just because of the severity of the runs that he's going to be using on me or I'm just going to basically bring the safety down here um, and, and really force him to have to pass watch for any post routes over the middle here um, and if not and there we go we're gonna get that nice user lurk uh, bad read by him and we're able to get the nice turnover right off the bat now on offense I am running a new offense now um, I'm not running it because I necessarily have to my new England ebook is absolutely incredible and if you want to get that offense um, I think it's still one of the best if not the best offense in Madden 21 and that link is in the description but bunch tight end and the reason I've switched to it and I want to talk about this a little bit this video is this idea of simplicity now for those of you guys that know me at all you know that one of the things that I love and at the same time one of the things that I struggle with um, a lot is this idea of you know trying to do a little bit too much on the offensive side of the ball trying to innovate a little bit too much from time to time and so what I'm trying to do in this video and what I'm trying to do as a Madden player right now is get back to my roots get back to the simple foundational elements that make me a good Madden player route combos and keeping it simple and the way that best way I know how to explain this is Vince Lombardi now Vince Lombardi when he was talking about his uh, when he was when he was teaching people his Lombardi sweep he said you know gentlemen this is the play that we must make go this is the play that we will make go and this is the play that we will run again and again and again and that is what I intend to do with this gun bunch tight end mastering the reads keeping it simple so that I can master um, the craft I think is absolutely important and critical if I'm going to be an effective Madden player and have any chance of being a competitive Madden player so that's a commitment that I'm making to myself it's also a commitment that I'm making to you that the setups and the plays that you will you will get from me and the schemes now on are going to be super super simple and super easy to implement and put into practice so that's all i got on that um but right here and this is the, one of the best plays in the entire game here curl flat corner um, right there rogers unfortunately one of the things that i have to rem remember about gunslinger is sometimes gunslinger um they throw the ball at a little bit of a lower trajectory um and so if that's the case you know it's really important that you uh just pay attention to that um uh, another thing that this guy is doing is he's actually running a lot of cover three so i'm gonna hit that seam right there for a nice easy quick one play touchdown if he's gonna sit in dime one for six all game i might just and that's what he was running literally all um drive on me I might just uh, audible down into you know some pro sets just to kind of catch him off guard. There's a couple of uh, formations I have in the wide trips, single back wide trips out of the Raiders playbook that are really really good. There's a lot of really good good running plays in the Raiders playbook, so I might have to pull some of those out as the game progresses. But so far so good. Offense had a couple of slip ups on the first drive, but. All in all, effective defense got the stop it needed, and now we're going to have to go back on defense and get another stop. Now, again, if you want to get uh, my full schemes and my text membership, there's about 12 of those right now, and we're getting ready to add a 13th video to it this week. So make sure to just let me know that you want to get those. Uh, literally, all you got to do to pick them up uh, is just shoot me a text message. Uh, that's all you got to do. Okay, so he's going five wide again. Looks like he's going to go with some screen passes on the outside. Um, and so we might have to just, when he goes five wide like that, one of the things that we might have to do um, is start manning people up. But here it looks like he's going to, uh, looks like he's going to some type of like single back doubles. 
So we're going to see here if he runs the ball, and he does run stretch. That was a bad job by me. I should have been able to stop that a little bit easier than I did. Um, one of the things also that I like to do against five wide is something like this right here, where basically I just man up the slots. Now, if he does run the screen, I'm kind of screwed. But right there, that's, that's what we're looking for. I don't know why Amos didn't react. That's kind of the whole point of putting safeties at linebackers so that they react. So uh, right there, um, you know, not great, but... But anyway, um, okay, so right here, same kind of situation. Let's go get this tight end corner. That should be a pick. Yep, that's me, Perry Nickerson, another great lurk. And the defense so far in two possessions has two turnovers and almost got out of there for a pick six on that play for Perry Nickerson. Perry Nickerson is one of the most uh, important cornerbacks in the game. In my opinion, he makes the Packers um, the best defense in the game, at least in my personal opinion. Um, just because he gives them the speed, he gives them the ability to man up, and gives them the ability to do some, some things that you know most teams aren't really able to do uh, at this level. So back in the bunch tight end, and we're going to just hit this little quick out right here. Um, one of the things that's really important when you run an offense like this, where you're only running really one to two to maybe three plays a game, you know, realistically, like a good game for me, I'm only going to call three different plays. I'm going to call PA boot over, I'm going to call curl flat corner, and then I might call a little bit um, of the play uh, curl switch. So what I mean by that, and oh, I just got my doors blown off with that fumble. Um, what I mean by that is simply that, you know, I have to be mindful of that and I have to know that. So I know a good game for me is if I'm only calling really three plays. So what you have to do is always understand and take your check downs and take the things that, you know, may not seem really important, like flats. Take your flats uh, if they're there. The, the flat out route is so, so important uh, in this offense. So anyways, right here, he's going to go to doubles way off. I know there's going to probably be some type of inside zone there, and it was definitely inside zone. Uh, good run by him, and we'll see what happens here. He's in single back or uh, shotgun doubles, so i got to watch out for inside zone. Oh, a little quarterback power there to Jalen Hurst. So that's how I can tell that he's running Baltimore. Uh, he's running the Baltimore playbook. Now, just like on offense, I want to keep it really, really simple. I think on defense, um, something that people don't really talk a lot about because defense is more about adjusting to what your opponent's tendencies are, Um I try to keep it super simple on defense. If I can only call like one, maybe two plays a game, that's when I really feel like uh, my defense is really playing well um, and really rely on you know myself and my user to really fix some of the challenges that I might be going up against. So as you see right there, so far the defense has played lights out. Uh, offense has played good too. It's just I feel a little bit shaky, mainly because I know Dime 146 can send really good pressure, but this guy's not really sending me any real pressure uh, out of that dumb one four six right now, um, so let's see here. We'll get that tight end delay fade this time. We're not going to get shamed on the outside there, and uh, Robert Tunyon is going to get upfield and get us some nice yardage. Um, so seven of eight, you know, you can't complain with that at all. Uh, and we're just going to continue to uh, really run this play here and just see how he defends it. Um, and we'll just throw that away. I think I had the drag route coming across there. I think that and one of the things that you have to kind of fight when you're running this offense is your tendency to roll out. That's one of the things that I have to fight. You really don't want to roll out, at least early. You want to try to kind of sit in the pocket, uh, make a read, and then and then go from there. So um, the delay fade is really kind of your, your last resort, you know, when you're when you're running this offense. Now, one of the things that he's doing that I think is actually really, really smart is he is manning up. Uh, Devontae Adams almost every single play. So, you know, as he as the game progresses, if he continues to do that, that's where I'm going to have to go to some of my constraint theory plays. One of the best ways to defend bunch tight end, at least in my opinion, is to man up the slot corner or the slot receiver. Uh, I think that, you know, kind of takes away a lot of what I try to do uh, and what a lot of people try to do. But the one thing is if they're not playing those flat zones on the outside there, you definitely could take advantage of them with that quick drag route from PA boot over. Now, first and 10, this is like I lick my chops for this situation. First and 10, ball in the right hash. It's like auto, almost automatic that I'm going to go to this setup right here. This is probably my favorite setup in this situation. And he does run cover three again, so I'm going to be able to hit that nice little slot streak to Tavon Austin. In my opinion, it's the best slot streak uh, in the entire game. Just hot, rollable streak right at the seam and does a really, really good job of getting separation and we're able to get in the end zone uh, for a touchdown. So right now the offense, if you take away the fumble, um, has played really, really well. And the defense has played really, really well. 
Now, again, if you're still watching this video, I want to make sure to let you know to subscribe. I upload eight videos a day. I do four videos that are kind of normal in length, and do I? And then I also do four videos that are 60 seconds or less, just quick hitting videos that give you tangible, uh, just really good tactics, but in a really, really short amount of time. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of those uploads. I think if you really, truly want to get better at the game, our channel is the best channel in the community to be able to teach you the game, teach you the concepts, and uh, you're going to be the first to know a lot of stuff if you subscribe to the channel. All right, so second quarter, um, this is where, and it looks like he is going to go back to this power eye type of deal, so we're just going to have to kind of monitor this. Um, I'm not too concerned about it. He does run a sweep here, and I didn't do a great job of usering out there, but I do get the tackle. And really one of the things that I'm trying to do as a defensive player, and, and I actually used to be probably a little bit better on defense than I am right now, and I'm trying to get back to that. I mean, when I'm back was early in Madden, I had a really, really good defense. And one of the reasons for that is because I kept it seriously super, super simple. This move to simplicity, you know, there's a, a quote by Bruce Lee, and it says this, the height of genius or the height of cultivation always runs to simplicity, meaning the best of the best. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. And that is, you know, kind of my focus, um, right now uh, in terms of my you know my Madden stuff that I've got going here we're really trying to keep it simple really trying to keep everything just you know streamlined you know easy to apply easy to understand um, that's really what we're after and there's another pick for the defense man we're de our defense is playing some ball right now uh, Jair Alexander makes a great play on that ball and now the offense is going to get an opportunity uh, to go up at least by three possessions. Three possessions right here is good. So if, if I'm if I'm an offensive player right here, I've got the ball on my own 42. So really the one thing that I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the ball up to um, – I'm simply trying to get the ball to about the 35-yard line right here. So um, and he's doing some interesting, interesting adjustments, and that's actually a really bad sack. I should have thrown that away. He's doing a lot of adjustments out of this down 146 to try to kind of handle um, some of what I'm doing. So, you know, I got to be mindful of that. He's doing a lot of cross manning. And I need Rodgers to make a big throw, and he did. He came through for me. And that's going to put us right in field goal range. So, one of the things that I'm going to do right here, and this is mainly just because when you get up by three possessions, I think it is a huge deal in Madden. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the I form close uh, power O and the I form close uh, ISO, kind of set this formation up. Uh, as if I was going to run this, you know, just to be prepared. If he comes out in dime 146, I'm just going to run the ball. And then if he if he doesn't, so yeah, he does come down in dime 146. So I'm going to audible over here to the I form uh, if I can get to the power O in time. Uh, and just try to weak box him, really. Um, that's all I'm really trying to do here is just, you know, see if he can stop the run out of this with dime 146. It's sometimes pretty hard to do that. Um, and then we're just going to go into a no huddle situation and try to milk the clock down and we'll go ahead and run a play we got 10 seconds why not and we're gonna force this one and Rogers just threw an absolute laser that crossing route from PA boot over is the best crossing route in the entire game um, but really what I was gonna do right there is essentially the plan was if it got down to about two seconds or really at three seconds so if it would have taken any more time, I was just going to see if that crossing route was open. And if the crossing route was not open, then I was going to check it down and just throw it away and take the field goal. Uh, I had one timeout, so I had a timeout to burn in case I got sacked or whatever. Um, you know, that was really the, the mindset there was just basically see if PA boot over is open. If it's not open, then just throw it away or check it down and live to fight another day. Now, I think we get ball at halftime, which is actually huge in this situation because we're up by 21. Um, so we're going to be able to get the football here at half. Looks like he's coming out in onside kick, so we might get a quick coming. But like I said, if you want to get the full scheme, um, it's coming out this week. I'm actually working on the ebook right now. Um, it's the most, I think it's one of the most simple ways to master offense. It's really, really easy um, to run this scheme, and this scheme is simple and effective that's the thing sometimes you can be simple but you can't be effective this scheme gets 
it really does master both uh, and does a really, really good job in my opinion. So uh, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to share with you about that. Um, here, he doesn't man him up, and so as you can see, that corner out is absolutely ridiculously good if they don't run a man coverage on it, if they're just trying to just do random zone drops and stuff, it's not going to work against that specific corner route. It's the best corner route in the game uh, for that reason. There's really no way to truly stop it. Um, and, and then you have this other crossing route that is even better. This crossing route is so good uh, and really one of the key, uh, key features of this. Uh, now right here, sometimes this happens where the delay fade doesn't go out. The primary reason, and you see here, 14 of 17, 260. Um... Now, I haven't ran this play much this game, but we're going to go ahead and run it in this situation just because of the situation um, that we find ourselves in here. Uh, this is just uh, inside switch. I love this play. It's like a constraint little little change of pace type of play, and we might actually get a touchdown here. Tried to force it a little bit. I have that tight end open, and I think I could get him open again. If he keeps, if he keeps with this coverage, I'm probably going to go back to it. Um, yeah, it looks like he's going to keep with this. So if someone keeps with this coverage on me, I really like this setup right here. And we're just motion Tyler Irving over. And that's what we wanted right there. Perfect read. And we're able to get that touchdown, one play touchdown. Um, you've been seeing just automatic lasers today. So hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Looks like this guy's going to go ahead and give me the win. Um, Thanks for watching. I, I seriously, let's see. I don't know. Maybe he wants to continue playing. But if you want to get my full offenses and defenses that I release in my text membership for free to you every week, go ahead and text me. My number is 812-216-3644. And if you want to get the defenses, the defense that you saw me run in this game, that link is in the description. And if you have any questions about any of this, just shoot me a text message. My number is in the description.